How's it going, guys? Jared Genesis here. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think I've just... <laughs> I really think I've been wearing way too many goddamn hats here lately. Uh, might just take a break. Might just, you know, freestyle or whatever you want to call it. Naked head. <laughs> That's what she said. Awesome. So... Yes, we're going to start the video with a that's what she said. It's going to be one of those kinds of videos. <laughs> but I can promise you there's still going to be some gems in this one because, well, let me just say this. <laughs> it's mostly because it's from someone else and not myself. Not to beat myself up too much. I do have some gems every once in a while. But uh, this is wisdom from this dude who I've been watching for a while. <laughs> this really, really African-looking fellow. Like, he, he's, I love this guy, and I'm, I'm not making fun of him, but he, he literally looks like he's from some kind of, you know what I'm saying, uh, hardcore African tribe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's got his fucking um, spear ready, you know what I mean, and his fucking shield. <laughs> it's, it's just, he dresses, I'm not saying this to be racist. But, like, he will literally dress like he's from, you know, hundreds of years ago with those, what do you call, um, uh, <laughs> fucking, um, look, they look like drapes, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know how else to d describe it. It's very African looking with the print. I think it's really cool that he does it. I honestly am jealous. I wish I had some fucking clothes like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, mean, <laughs> I guess I could use one of my drapes, but... It doesn't have the cool print that he has. Anyways, guys, sorry I went on a drape tangent, but um, <laughs> what I just did there, though, that's what I want to talk about: the smile, the laugh. That's what's most important if you're trying to level up as a chosen one, you know, as um, a practitioner of manifestation. You have to smile because smile is the ultimate hack to the brain. When you smile, you're telling your brain, like you're literally giving signals to your brain that you're happy. And that's why scientifically, as, as stupid as it sounds, scientifically, if you, if you even fake smile, like if it's not even genuine, it can still boost serotonin levels. Now, mind you, I'm, I'm not saying it's going to be like taking a fucking hit of heroin, okay? I mean, it's probably not super significant. But, I mean, still, any little bit helps. And also, I mean, think of it this way, bro. <laughs> and I also... <laughs> I'm being honest with you guys. I actually did this yesterday and my fucking... Uh, my whole face hurts. But think of it this way. Like, if you try to fake smile all day... You know, <laughs> I know that's some crazy math, but if you add it up, that probably does boost <coughs> significant more than just, you know, doing it a few times a day. So I would just say practice with it, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, don't be embarrassed. You can just do it alone in your room. That's what I've been doing. You can even laugh, you know, fake laugh. Um... There's an old saying I'm sure you guys know, <clears throat> fake it till you make it. That's pretty much what this is, bro, because eventually when you do level up and you do manifest all your heart's desires, I mean, I can promise you, man, <laughs> you'll be smiling all day <laughs> and it ain't going to be fake. You know what I mean? I know that <sighs> this is going to make me sound pretentious, but... I know that as a chosen one, I am royalty. The reason is because I know I'm anointed by God. I believe that I do deserve to live like a king. If you live by the Holy Bible, you know, according to God's will, I see you as a king. If you're an atheist, you know, if you're someone who follows Lucifer, <laughs> I see you as a peasant. If you're stupid enough to think that you're the greatest power in the universe, you do not deserve a wealthy life. You deserve to be a peasant. Because that, in fact, makes you a stupid fool. It does. <laughs> to think that you are more powerful 
than this very universe. To think that nothing exists outside of yourself, you do not deserve shit. As far as I'm concerned, you're just a bum. Okay? But when you choose to swallow your pride, because we all have that, we all have a fallen nature within us, that is when you grow, when you begin to see that there is something outside yourself, when you truly get that communion with God, that special relationship, as I was talking about in my last video, that is when you level up, bro. You cannot level up as a stupid atheist or even just some dumb pagan, you know, who believes in fucking Zeus, you know, who he can move the clouds every Tuesday, you know. <laughs> what else has he done? You know, he's afraid of dogs. Uh, these pagan gods, they're, they're not shit, bro. Compared to God the Almighty, the God of Christianity, pagan gods are not fucking shit. They don't control shit, you know what I mean? God's, he's the creator of the goddamn universe, dude. You think Thor has more power than that? Oh, you're sadly mistaken, dude. You are sadly mistaken. Stop worshipping stupid superheroes and get on your knees and pray to the true God, Jehovah Jireh, the Holy Trinity, the God, the Father, and the Son, Jesus Christ. When you put Jesus in your life, you will level up more than fucking crypto. You know what I mean? You'll fucking 10,000 X yourself, bro. You'll, you'll 100,000 X yourself. A million thousand X yourself. Okay? Jesus Christ is the greatest power in the universe. I know this is fact because I follow him. Some of you guys might say, well, if you following the greatest power, well, then how come you're not extremely wealthy? Well, I'll tell you why, guys, okay? <laughs> I chose to make sacrifices in my life, okay? I chose to stay with my parents because I know that they need me. It's not always easy. We don't always get along. Sometimes we fight. We have our differences. Um, my level of peace, I'll just say this, isn't exactly where it should be. But I know that I'm needed here. My trolls are worthless sacks of shit. They don't know the first thing about me. They just like to make assumptions in order to cope. Because deep down they feel guilty for what they did to me. I know that for a fucking fact. I had some loser gang stalk me on Discord trying to be my friend, trying to weasel me into quitting YouTube because seeing my face made him feel guilty. This is how fucking pathetic this loser was. He used to like to LARP. I don't know if he still does as a fucking soprano. He called himself one of the sopranos. I won't say his name. He's a complete degenerate. He used to bully another guy. Um, really, I'm, I'm, I'm giving him too much attention in saying all this, but just the lowest of the low or what I have to deal with as a YouTuber. And that too has been a blessing blocker in my life. But I will just say this, okay? I know eventually the tides will turn. When I came back to YouTube two years ago, I knew I'd still be dealing with silly shit. But eventually, I'm just going to say this. Eventually, if you're one of those motherfuckers who likes to gang stalk and harass, and harass people... God will shoot you down. He will. God will destroy you. The only thing is, and I don't exactly know why, because I'm human and I'm fallen, our God is a very forgiving God. Our God is a very tolerant God. This is something that I don't understand because I know I'm human. But my, my God is greater than myself, and that is why I believe he's doing what he's doing. But eventually, to my gang stalkers, if you guys keep at it, God will destroy you. He will. This will not go on the rest of my life. And I know that. And I know, too, eventually, you guys are going to wear yourselves out. You're not going to be doing this shit forever. You're just desperate. You're desperate because you know getting me off the internet is your last power grab attempt you have in your life. Because you're just that much of a goddamn loser. <laughs> you're just that much of a fucking tool. And I do not feel sorry for you. Because you chose to destroy your life. Being a godless sack of shit. Turning away from the Lord. Turning away from scripture. You chose this life. 
Yes, I'm getting a little bit in my feelings, but I do not care. I don't care because I know my blessings are coming, bitch. I know they are. Sometimes it just takes time. I practice manifestation every day now. I know God is listening to my heart's desires. And I know that he will reward me tenfold for dealing with what I'm dealing with. I know he will bless me far greater than anyone else. I know one day I will be a fucking billionaire. I will own 50 cars. I will have a fucking $100 million mansion. I will. And you guys can keep laughing, but it's going to happen one day, bitch. And you're going to be forced to see it. You're going to be forced to suffer seeing me live in luxury while you live in complete garbage. <laughs> and I think that is what will ultimately destroy you. Maybe God knows he doesn't even need to literally throw a lightning bolt on your ass. Maybe it's just he wants to see you suffer. Maybe that's what it is, Cupcake. <laughs> but anyways, guys, listen. Just keep on smiling. You know what I'm saying to everyone who's not a piece of crap. <laughs> this is not to my trolls. I, I don't care what they do with their lives. But to everyone out there who's practicing the power of manifestation and doing the best they can to live a good life and holy life, just know that things could always be worse for you, bro. Keep a smile on your face as hard as it is. Do not give in to being negative because that will destroy your blessings. When you have a negative mindset, you know, when you're moping, when you're complaining, uh, you, you're pretty much signing a death warrant at that point. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> you have to stay positive, stay hopeful, and just understand this, guys. You know, I, I was just talking about this on a post today. There was a kid who died in Santa Claus's arms. As fucking terrible as it is. That's like the saddest thing ever. And I remember that to remind myself, you know, there's always someone who has it worse, dude. There's always someone out there, you know, because life is such a bitch. And I know life is unfair. There's always someone who, even if they're a good person, could be suffering very badly. And that's because we live in a fallen world, okay? That's not God's fault. So I don't want to hear that from anybody. We did this to ourselves. We live in a toxic, terrible society where good people suffer. That's not God's fault. That's our own fault. So anyways, guys, I wish you nothing but peace in your life. I am praying for my haters, but that doesn't mean I want them to live full and abundant lives. I just want them to get a reality check and realize that you cannot gang stalk people and get away with it. Eventually, karma will come for you eventually the tables will turn and i know they slowly are and i see a lot of my trolls slowly becoming law cows themselves i will eventually outshine you bitch i may be fat i may be poor but this this storm will not last forever i will eventually outshine you and there's nothing you can do to stop me nothing <laughs> so anyways guys that's what i got for you today <coughs> I might do a playthrough later on. Probably not, though. I just kind of been doing one video a day, to be honest with you guys. Uh, I'm lagging, as you can see. That's because for two days straight, I've been walking in the sunshine. It's been like 96 degrees out here. So it's very fucking draining on me. But <clears throat> I know that this will pay off. You know, I deal with migraine headaches because of insomnia. And it takes me, you know, twice as much effort to get moving than the normal person. But I know it will pay off. I know in time my blessings will come to me. And I'm just going to keep fighting this fight. That's all I really have to say, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, oh, I wanted to say this too, though. I restarted Alone in the Dark. And uh, yeah, apparently you get a gun if you're the guy, which I thought was funny. Um... And it starts you out in a different place. So, yeah, I'm excited to play that game for you guys. Uh, I might actually do a little bit tonight because I have to admit, <laughs> that's that's one game I'm actually really looking forward to. Um, I haven't played a game that fun in a good while, you know what I'm saying? I'm just mostly... Uh, <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> Holy fuck. I've mostly just been playing Magic the Gathering Arena by... <laughs> And I'm trying to play more games, dude. You know what I'm saying? It just keeps my mind distracted. 
and uh, you know it keeps me from getting in the negative. Try to stop yourself if there's if the, you know if you're dealing with a lot of the negative guys. Do whatever you can to distract your mind from that. Uh, read a book, watch TV. You know what I mean. Uh, do not let the enemy work in you because that's what he's doing. He works through your thoughts. As I've stated several times, Satan is a bitch. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't fight fair. He he just plays stupid female mind games, and he he can he knows he can only attack you through the mind. So be mindful of that. No fucking pun intended there. Um, just you know, try to um, be mindful of your thoughts. You know, sometimes we just have to catch ourselves being negative. But I'm telling you guys, if you're positive. You know, if you uh, keep a smile on your face, dude, God will bless you, bro. The universe will bless you. So, namaste, guys. Uh, I wish you all blessings. Uh, if you're not a gang-stalking piece of shit, that is. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.